everybody. So in this video, we are going to do a very important theorem that is the tangent secant theorem. And also we'll prove it as well as we'll do a question on the basis of this theorem. So let's start with it. So when a tangent and secant are drawn from same external point, then the square of the length of the tangent is equal to the product of the total length of the secant and the length of the exterior part of secant. So the statement might be a bit twisted. So let's see it using a figure. So if I've got a circle over here, suppose from this point P, I'm making a tangent to the circle. Suppose this is T. And from the same point P, I'm making a secant to the circle. Suppose this point is A and this is B. So as per the tangent secant theorem, the square of the length of the tangent, that is PT square, is equal to to the product of the total length of the secant, that is PB, and the external part of the secant, that is PA. So that is equal to PA into PB. This is the tangent secant theorem. PT square is equal to PA into PB. We can also prove it. So let's prove the tangent secant theorem over here. So suppose I've got a circle, the same situation I'm making, and then we'll prove it as well. Suppose this is P and using this point, we are taking another secant. We are taking a secant PB over here. So in order to prove it, we have to do some constructions. This is T over here. We can join this point and then we can join it like this as well over here. Now basically, uh, you see we have studied the alternate segment theorem. So basically, we can say that this angle will be equal to this angle, alternate segment theorem. And if I see the triangle PTA, if I see triangle PTA, and if I see the triangle PBT, triangle PBT, so over here you will see this angle is common as well. So basically you can say that triangle PTA is similar to triangle PBT using AA similarity criterion, angle-angle similarity criterion. And if two triangles are similar, the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. So you can say over here that PT upon PB, PT upon PB, that is equal to, we can say PA upon PT over here, PA upon PT. You might ask that why you're not using TA and BT? because that is not required in this question, so no need to write that unnecessarily. So over here, if you cross multiply, you'll get PT square is equal to PA into PB. So you see, that is the proof of the tangent secant theorem. That is very easy using similarity of triangles, and hence let's do a question on the basis of this theorem. So the question is pretty direct. Using the tangent secant theorem, you can do this question. You see, this is a tangent and this is a secant over here. So using the tangent secant theorem, we can say over here that AB square is equal to AC into AD, is equal to AC into AD over here. So AB is nothing but X, that is equal to AC is nothing but 6, and AD over here will be what? AD is 16, AD is 6 plus 10, 16 over here. So basically you have to find the value of X, although this is a quadratic equation, but we are talking about distance, so we will neglect the negative value. So that will be equal to square root of 6 and then 16, so that will be 4 root 6 units. So that is the value of the unknown value X over here, which is very simple using the tangent secant theorem. So that's all we needed to do in the tangent secant theorem on the Infinity Learn class 9 and 10 YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.